We have this question, Ricardo of mass 80 kilograms and Carmelita who's lighter are enjoying Lake Mercedes. Uh, they are on a boat which is uh, three meters long and then uh, when they move, they exchange their seats, then the canoe moves a 40 centimeter distance horizontally. So the question uh, is, what is the mass of Carmelita? So let's uh, dig in and see if we can solve this problem. So the first thing we do is we start with the drawing. So here, this uh, rectangular uh, board represents the board with the dot in the middle being the center of mass of the board. Now on the board, we have our two people, Carmelita uh, represented by the letter C and Ricardo represented by the letter R. And we have to measure distances from the pier. So here's our pier and now, we do not know how far uh, Carmelita is from the pier, but let's just say that that distance is D. And since the boat uh, has length L, the center of mass of the boat would be a distance D plus L over two. And the distance of Ricardo from the pier would be D plus L. So here we have our distances. Now in this situation, we can actually go ahead and find uh, an expression for the center of mass of the system. So the center of mass of this system would be the mass of Carmelita, which we do not know, times her distance from the pier D, plus the mass of port, which is 30, times its distance from the pier, which is D plus uh, L over two, plus uh, the mass of Ricardo, which is 80 kilograms, times uh, the distance of Ricardo from uh, the pier, which is D plus L, and uh, divided by the sum of the masses of three bodies. So through successive uh, steps, uh, I've replaced L by 3.0 meters because the question tells me that uh, Carmelita and Ricardo are uh, three meter apart and simplifying uh, this expression gives me the center of mass is equal to MD plus 110 D plus 285 over M plus 110. So we're going to need to use this expression at a later point. Now, what happens next is that Ricardo and Carmelita, they uh, interchange their uh, positions. We now have again the boat with its center of mass and Carmelita and Ricardo, they have switch places and we still wanna measure the distances from the pier. Now the 40 centimeter motion horizontally, first thing we need to do is change that to meters, 0 .0, 0 0.4 meters. And secondly, since Ricardo has moved closer to the pier, what would that mean for the boat is that it would move away from the pier. So the new distance that we have now for Ricardo is D plus 0.4. For the center of the boat, that would be D plus L over two plus 0.4. And for Carmelita, the distance would be D plus L plus 0.4. So, this system now has a new center of mass. Let's call that uh, XCOM prime. So XCOM prime would be again the same formula, M1 X1 plus M2 X2 plus M3 X3 divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3. M1 now is uh, Ricardo, 80 kilograms, and the distance is D plus 0.4. M2 is still the board, 30 kilograms, and the distance of the center of mass of the board from the pier is D plus L over two plus 0 0.5. And Carmelita still don't know the mass and her distance from the pier is D plus L plus 0 0.4 divided by M plus 30 plus 80. Again, uh, I'm gonna substitute L is equal to three meters and that uh, simplifies things a little bit. So now we have this expression in the end for uh, the new center of mass. So remember we uh, evaluated an original value for the center of mass and now this is the new value for the center of mass. Since there are no external forces, the COM should remain stationary. What that means is that X COM and X COM prime should be the same. So we get the two expressions for COM and X COM prime and we equate them and we start solving them for uh, M. So first thing we can do is we can uh, multiply both sides by M plus one over 10. So the fractions change into a linear expression. 
and then we can subtract MD from both sides. We can also subtract 110D from the both sides. So that gives me 285 equals 89 plus 3.4M. And solving this equation for M gives me M is equal to 57.6 kilograms. I hope that you like this video. Hope that uh, I was able to explain the problem well. If you would like to see a video solution of uh, another problem, please uh, email that to us at info at sageeducational.com. Uh, if you would like us to make a, top, a video on a certain topic, we can do that as well. Just write us an email at info at sageeducational.com. We provide in-person and online tutoring. Uh, so if you are looking for academic help and you're looking for a tutor to help you, again, write us an email and we can have a tutor uh, to start working with you as soon as possible. Uh, that email again is info at sageeducational.com. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe link and uh, give, us a, give us a thumbs up. So like this uh, video and uh, share it as much as you can. So again, I hope that you like the video.